Happy birthday to you. Blow your candle, blow your candle. Yay! What a surprise. Thank you, Chris, for the beautiful cake. You are very welcome. So, what is your birthday plans this year? Oh, okay. I have I'm going for a adventurous birthday this year. So, my dad has planned a snorkeling trip for us. And I think you should try that once too. Wow, snorkeling? That sounds so fun. Yes. Oh, I really want to go, but I need to ask my dad permission first. So, okay. all the best for your trip. Okay, bye. all the best to you too. Have fun. Yeah, bye. Uh, Chris? Yes? I think the cake oh, is yes, for yes. me. Oh, yes, yes. This is for you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye. TV KPM Yay! Time to go snorkeling! Hey! Hi there everyone! Welcome to Tahab Duo. You're watching with me, Chris. And today, we are going to do something very interesting and fun. But first, let's get to know today's teacher. That's right, friends. Today we will be learning Bahasa Inggris with Teacher Tulasi. But before that, I would also like to welcome our sign language interpreter for today, Teacher Azliana. Thank you so much, Teacher, for being here. All right, Teacher Tulasi, how are you doing today? Hi, Chris. I'm good. You're good? Yes. Okay, I'm very good and I'm excited for today's interesting lesson. I see some goggles here. Yes. I, 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 I feel like we are ready to go snorkeling, but I would like to invite some friends. Can I do that? Yes, sure. Okay, let's invite our friends here. Hi, everyone on Google Meets. Hi. Wow, okay, so these are. Hi. hi, everyone. Teacher, hi. could you please introduce our yeah, friends for definitely. today? Definitely. Okay. Uh, we have three students from my school, that is SK1 Batu Empat. Okay. Okay, the first, two, the first pupil will be. Joel, hi, hi Joel. Give me a wave. Okay, next would be Angelina. Hi Angelina. Rafik. Hello Rafik. And another pupil from SJKT Subramania Bharati Penang, Hitesh. Hi Hitesh. Wow. Okay. Are you ready for today's lesson? Give me a thumbs up if you are ready. Everyone watching at home. As well as on Google Meets, give me a thumbs up. Okay, one, two, three, Rafik. Okay, four thumbs up. All right, so teacher, what yes, are we going to learn today? Okay, so let me show you what we're going to learn today. Okay. Okay, okay we're going to learn about creating a block. Okay, how do we create a block? Okay, let me go into the lesson. Okay, the first. One is the learning objective. Okay, first you have to learn to use a mind map to plan a writing. The second objective will be rearrange the sentences to make a block entry. Ooh, okay. 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 Now. Okay, to so the pupils out there and pupils in the Google Meet. Okay, I would like to just ask you: Have you celebrated your birthday out of your house? That means you. Be, have you done any outdoor birthday celebrations? Yes, Joel. Have you celebrated your birthday outdoor? Yes. Okay, can you t share with us some experience? Where did you celebrate your birthday? I celebrated at the beach before. Oh, that's very nice. Interesting. At the beach. Okay, how about the others? Do you have any experience celebrating birthday out, out, outdoor? Other than from your ha house, do you have any experience? Mm. No, okay, it's okay. It's okay. So, Joel has celebrated his birthday at the beach. Yeah. 
How about you, Chris? Have Same. you celebrated? I have celebrated oh. at the beach as well. Okay. High five, Joel. High five. Yeah, yeah, I celebrated at the beach as well. Okay, good. That's interesting. Okay, now I'm going to share to you other type of birthday celebration. Okay, okay. For example, we can go and visit the zoo. We can go for a visiting to the zoo and celebrate our birthday over there, right? It will be so much of fun there. Yes. Okay, the second one will be kayaking. Okay, you can also go for kayaking. Those who love adventure, right? You can go for kayak with your family, right? Okay, then the last one would be the camping. I hope every, I think everyone loves camping. Yes, camping is fun. Yeah, so you can go with your friends or even with your family members. So these are the type of outdoor birthday celebration. Teacher, okay. have you celebrated your birthday outdoors? Mm, yes. <laughs> Yeah? Where yeah. did you celebrate? Um, at the park. At the park. Yeah. So you had a very nice picnic? Yes, it's like a picnic. So we had a family gathering at the park. Then we celebrated the birthday over there. Wow, okay. And Sounds it was very fun. fun. Yeah, it was fun. We had lots of games. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, next, I would like to introduce to you Mind Map. Oh. Okay? Okay, I hope you have heard of Mind Map, right? Because we have been using mind map in our lesson for the whole year. Like I think map and all that is considered as a mind map. Okay. This mind map over here is a simple mind map. Okay. Where you have like lots of bubbles and you have to fill in the blanks. Okay. Uh, next would be another mind map. But this is a more creative mind map where you can draw pictures. Okay. Pictures to, to explain about your mind map. Right. Okay, now, okay, why we are using mind map, okay? So, mind map is a useful way to organize thoughts and information, okay? If let's say you want to share some information, you can use mind map to do it, right? And there are some rules in doing a mind map, okay? The first rule is you have to write the subject in the center, okay? Always the subject comes in the center. And the second rule, Draw branches, okay, from the center. That means from your subject, you have to draw more branches out, okay. And rule three, draw br more branches from each main branch, okay, to expand your idea. So these are the rules, okay. All right. Okay. So we will be focusing on writing today. Is that correct, yes. teacher? Yes. Okay. Why am I talking about mind map? Because the students or the pupils are going to use mind map in writing. Okay. So I am very excited to learn how to write better using mind maps. Yes. But first, teacher, is it okay if we take a short break? Sure, definitely. Okay. For my friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with teacher Tulasi for Tahap 2 Bahasa Inggris. Let's create a blog. Did you know Sipadan Island in Sabah is one of the best snorkeling and diving spots in Malaysia? Didik TV KPM Hi everyone, welcome back to Slot Tahap 2 and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris. Let's create a blog. Now for today's class, we have Teacher Azliana as our sign language interpreter as well as Teacher Tulasi and my friends on Google Meets as well as you watching at home. Alright Teacher, our friends at home are already ready for this lesson. What will we be learning next? Okay, I'm not going to tell what is it about. Okay, let's look at the picture first. Oh, okay. Okay, let it be a suspense. All right. Okay, now let's look at this picture. Wow. Okay, pupils, what can you see here? Mm, any yes, any volunteers? Maybe Twelve? Angelina. Or Angelina, a yeah. A sea. Oh, okay. it's a sea, yes, correct. Where is it in the sea? Under the sea. Well under done, Rafi. The it's under. It's okay. underwater, right? It's underwater. Okay. What can you see here? What else you can see here? Hitesh? Fish. Uh, fish is a lot of fish. 
lot of fish. Okay. Other than that, what else? Joel? Corals. Yes, coral reefs, right? You can see beautiful coral reefs over there. Okay, now I think you all can guess what is the topic about or what are we going to learn about, right? So it's about underwater. It's about something to do with underwater sports or adventure. Okay, okay now let's go to the topic. Yes, okay, so today we're going to learn about snorkeling, okay? about snorkeling and we will be learning about writing with the topic of snorkeling. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, you can see a, a guy there, a man there who's doing some snorkeling activity. Okay, so now uh, pupils, have you gone for snorkeling? Any of you ex have experience going for snorkeling? Yeah. Oh yes, who's that? Rafik? Okay, good, Rafik. So, where where you went for snorkeling, Rafik? Pulau Perhentian. Okay, good. Perhentian Island. So, how was the experience? It was great. Wow, great. Okay. Okay, and uh, the other three, have you all gone for any snorkeling trip? Yes. Oh, Joel. Okay, so where where you went for snorkeling, Joel? Panko Island. Panko Island. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Do they have snorkeling in Panko Island, please? Yeah, I think they have because Joel went for snorkeling. Oh, in Panko. okay. I didn't yeah. know. Okay. Which so I've been such... snorkeling as well. Okay, where? So, uh, Rafiq went to Perhentian. Joel went to Panko. Panko. I went to Rudang. Wow. Another place. Okay. Yeah. So I think it, it, it was an awesome yes, experience, it was right? Very fun. Yeah, fun. Okay, good. Okay, now let's go into the lesson. Okay, what are we going to do now is we're going to learn about mind map. Okay, how are we going to use mind map in writing? Okay, we, why are we using mind map? Because it helps us in writing to organize your ideas. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the mind map. Okay, you can see in the center that is the subject that is snorkeling, right? And beside the subject, you can see all the subtopics. Okay, the first one is why, the second one is what we did, the third one is opinion, and the fourth is Perhentian Island. Okay, so that means we will be doing an activity of filling up the mind map. Okay, with other ideas related to the subtopics. Okay, are you clear, pupils? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. so what I want you to do now is, okay, you can look at the whiteboard over there. Okay, there are some phrases, okay, related to snorkeling, okay, and the subtopics. So we have already, uh, I've already put there about the subtopics, that means the why, what we did, opinions, and also Perhentian Island. Okay, can you all see that? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, good. So now you can take turn to read the phrases, then give me the answer. That means where does it belong to? Which subtopic does it belong to? Okay, for example, the first one. Uh, Chris, would you like to try? Yep. Learn about snorkeling with instructor. Hmm. I think this should be under what we did category. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely correct. Okay, okay. learn about snorkeling. Yeah, that means what you have what done you there. Okay. What you did there. Right? Okay, oh, the right. second one. Who would like to try? Number two. Can raise your hands. Me. Oh. Yes. Okay, Angelina. Do something special. Okay. Which subtopic it belongs to? Why. Why? Yes. Exactly. Okay. The third one. Teacher. Yes. Hitesh. Protected island. Yes. Protected Pol island. Polandian island. Yes. Protected island. So, it is related to subtopic Perhentian Island. Okay, good. Okay, the fourth one. 
How about Rafiq? Oh, Joel. Okay, Joel. It was breathtaking. Okay, so where does it belong to? Opinions. Yes, opinions. It was breathtaking. Okay, fifth. Who would like to try the fifth one? Okay, Rafiq. Love adventure. Okay. O opinion. Love adventure. Opinion? Is it opinion? I love adventure. It, it belongs to? Belongs why? to? Why? Yes, why? Why? Why you are going to snorkeling? Because you love adventure, right? Okay, yeah. next. Beautiful. Angelina? Beautiful. Perhentian Island. Yes, Perhentian Island. It's a very beautiful island, right? Okay, next. Hitesh? It was the best experience ever. It was the best experience ever, yeah. Um, Where does it belong? Perhentian Island. Perhentian Island? Best yes. experience. You are you are showing your feelings. It's like experience. Uh, opinion, it's, opinion. Yes, definitely. It's opinion. Because it's more to your feelings. Okay, next. Observe the coral reefs. Okay, let uh, Chris, can you try this? Would you can like to try? Observe the coral reefs. It's under what we did. Yes. Very good, Chris. So, what did we do was we observed observe the coral, the coral reefs. reefs. Yes. Okay, now next. Watch giant turtles. Rafik? What we did. Yes, good. Excellent. Okay, next. Was swimming attire, snorkeling gear, and life jacket. Angelina? What we did. Yes, what we did. What we did, okay. Okay, my birthday. Hitesh, you want to try? My birthday, yeah. Why? 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 My birthday? why? Yes, why? Why you went for snorkeling? Because it was your birthday, right? Okay, last two. How about Joel? Joel, can you read? Swam with baby sharks. Okay. What we did. What we did. Yes, definitely. What we did. And the last one. I felt exciting. Opinion. Good, Rafik. Opinion. Okay. Okay. So, I think our pupils managed to complete all the subtopics. They have managed to match all the subtopics to the phrases correctly. Correctly. So, okay. do you think that we should give them some reward, Chris? I don't know, teacher. What do you think? I think yes, we should yeah? give them a reward. Yeah. So, what reward should we give them? Okay. Uh, we have like one, two, three. Three. Mm. three I think three. Three. Yeah. Okay. We'll give them three stars. Yes, okay. Well done. Well done. Three stars. Well done, pupils. Give yourself okay. a round of applause. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Okay. So now we have completed the matching phrases with the subtopics. Okay. Now let's look at the mind map again. We'll see how the mind maps looks now. Okay. Just now it was empty. So now let's. Okay. So this is the mind map once you have filled it up with the ideas. Okay. Okay. So you can see there are four subtopics. Why? What we did. Opinion and Perhentian Island. So, so uh, under the subtopic of why, you have love adventure, do something special, and it's my birthday. Okay, then what we did, learn about snorkeling uh, with instructors, then swam with baby sharks. Then uh, what else, Chris? Can't really swam with baby sharks. Watch giant turtles. Yes, watch giant turtles. Observe the coral reefs. Yes, observe the coral reefs. So that's yeah. what we did. Yes. And opinion. What do you think about the 
experience. Okay, it was breathtaking. Then it was the best experience ever, and I felt exciting. This is all your opinion and your feelings. Okay, and the last one about Perhentian Island. It is a beautiful island, and it is also a protected island. Mm. Okay, why it's protected? Because it is protected from pollutions. Okay, so that uh, because it is a it's a very beautiful, beautiful island. Yeah. So the government need to protect it. Right, so that is why it is called as a protected island. Okay, you cannot simply go and throw any rubbish over yeah. there, right, and pollute the island. Yeah, that right? you shouldn't do that. Never yes. throw rubbish on the floor or litter in the ocean. Yes, But teacher, definitely. can you also share with us what is the benefit of having a mind map like this? Yes, definitely. Okay, why are we having this mind map? Okay, before we do any writing, we need we need to organize the ideas. Okay, if not, then. We would not be able to write in a flow. Okay, ah. the flow will not be there. So okay. when you write, when you do a mind map, that means you already have the ideas, and you will you will start to write with a flow, and it will be easier for you to do the writing. Okay, so in this case, the title is snorkeling. Snorkeling. But the the ideas we have four ideas, teacher. Is that correct? Yes. So why? What we did, what we did opinion, opinions and, per and about Perintian Island. Island. Yeah. Then from there we also expand yes. the mind map. Yes, correct. Okay. So I want to ask my friends watching at home as well as on Google Meets, do you now know how to do your own mind map? If yes, give me a thumbs up. Hitesh, Rafiq, very nice. Good job, everyone. And teacher, how did our Pupils watching at home as well as on Google Meets do for this segment for this activity. I think they have done very well. Okay, they are able to match all the phrases uh, correctly to the subtopics. Mm. So that means I hope that they understood what they have learned today, and they will be using mind maps after this for your for their writing too. All right, I'm so excited. But yeah. first, we are going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Teacher Tulasi here on Tahap Dua Bahasa Inggris. Let's create a blog. Did you know, mind maps were popularized by author and consultant Tony Busan. Didik TV KPM. Wow, look at all these colorful fishes. Snorkeling is so fun. Hi everyone! Welcome back to Tahap Dua with me, Chris. And today we are learning Bahasa Inggris. Let's create a blog together with Teacher Tulasi. All right, Teacher. I am so excited today. I I see all these beautiful fishes here. Some goggles. I see a birthday cake. What are we learning today, Teacher? Okay, Chris. Hi, Chris. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, now um, we're going to learn about creating a personal blog. Okay. okay. Just now we have already done with the mind map, so from the mind map we're going to do a blog writing. What is a blog, yes. teacher? Okay, let me explain to you what is it. Okay, what is a blog? Okay, a blog is an online journal or diary. Okay, it's like writing a diary. You, you remember last time we used to have a diary. We'll write our daily experience in a diary. Yes. But nowadays we don't really have diaries. We don't really do writing, right? So we create blogs. Okay, in web, in a website. Okay. Yeah, and also it's a place to record our activities, thoughts, and beliefs. Okay, so that means whatever you think about. Okay, whatever you, uh, what is what is your belief? You can write all that in your blog. Ooh. So it will be a personal blog, all and right. you can share your blog with everyone. So what can we write about in our blog, teacher? Okay, there are so many things that you can write. Maybe your holiday trip, or your daily experience. Maybe about your job, about your school, ah, about your friends. My best friends. Yeah, definitely about your family. Okay. Okay. So whatever that we think that you want to share, you can write all that. Okay. Sounds interesting. Sounds mm -hmm. fun. So let us see. Okay. Guide in writing a blog. Okay. Mm. Blog writing has some guide too. Okay. The first thing that you have to have is a start. How are you going to start the blog? Okay. You have to start your blog with a Day, date, 
and the month and year, right? The first thing, the day and date. Okay. Then after the starting, you have to go to the opening. Okay. You have to open. You have to have an opening of your blog. Okay. Normally, people will introduce themselves. Okay. What's your name? Where do you come from? Okay. And maybe why do you want to create the blog and all that? Okay. Then you have to welcome the readers to your blog. Okay. okay. So we can say hi, welcome to my to my blog. Okay. So that is the opening. Next, we go to the main section. The main section is a place where you write what you think, okay, all about your experience. So here you're going to use the mind map, okay. You're going to use the mind map to write about your experience, and next you have to keep it short. Don't make it too long. Why, teacher? Because you will tend to make make it so boring. Ah. Then people will get bored. Okay. So it won't be that. Interesting for people to read. So short and so sweet. So keep it, yeah, okay. short and sweet. Okay. Then you can also describe your feelings and opinions. How do you feel? Maybe you feel sad. Maybe you feel happy, excited, joyful, right? Nervous, and so so many different kind of feelings. Okay. So that is the main section, and the last one would be the finishing. The finishing would be writing something friendly, okay, to your readers, so that they will come back again to you. I mean, once you have done a blog, then you surely, you definitely you want your your readers to come back to you, right? Yes. For your second experience and all that, yeah. so make them come back to you by giving giving them something friendly. Okay. okay but be be more friendly with them. Okay, I'd like to ask my friends uh, on Google Meets and those watching at home. Anybody here have your own blog, or maybe you even write in your diary? Anybody? You can raise your hands if you have. Oh no one. Okay. So oh, that Angelina. That oh, Angelina. Angelina has raised her hand. Oh, Angelina, do you have a blog or a diary? Diary. Diary. Oh, okay. okay, that's so very interesting. Yeah, I, 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 of course, I won't want you to share what's in your diary because that's that's very, very private personal, and personal. Yeah. But I also have my own diary. I used to write my best friends' names uh -huh. and also my my all my experiences with them. Like you know, going to my favorite cafe mm -hmm. and I'll write down the date. The the month and the time okay. and also my experience. So okay. yeah, high five, Angelina. Nice. <laughs> Anybody else have their own diary or blog? Hitesh, is it? Who's that? Ah, uh, Hitesh. Hitesh. Yes, Hitesh. I, do you have a blog or diary? Diary. Diary also. Hitesh, what do you write about in your diary? Um, uh, about like my uh, what happened in my life like today and like yesterday. Wow. Okay, so we, teacher, can we also write uh, what we write in our diary into a blog? Yes, definitely. Okay, okay you can share whatever you, that you have written in, written in a diary into a blog. But ah. you have to follow the, the, guides, the guides, right? You have okay. to have the opening, the start, the main section and the finish. Okay, understood. Okay, okay. now uh, even I used to have, used to okay, have a diary, but it's not a diary actually, it's a photo album. Oh, wow. So what I do is, I collect all my photographs, whatever experience, where, wherever I go, I collect all my photographs. Then below each photograph, I will write like a, a few sentences to share my experience. Wow. Uh, that is, I consider it as a diary because it is together with the photo. So I, I enjoy seeing it after some time. I'll open, I'll just see it ah, and I'll so enjoy myself. Do you still keep the album? Yes, now, definitely. Ah, I have been okay. keeping like more than 20 years. So it's good to keep. Keep it for memories. Yes, you can also do that. All right. Okay. Okay. okay now let's see. Okay. Wait. Okay. So I've already shared about a uh, guide for blog writing, right? Okay. Now the task now is uh, we have to rearrange the sentences. I've already prepared sentences for the pupils. Sentences over there. Okay, all the colorful papers there. So many sentences. Yes, because it's block writing. Okay. It's going to be paragraphs. So all you right. cannot like limit it to two or three sentences. You must have everything that we have discussed in the mind map just oh. now. Okay. So I've prepared the sentences. Now the task is the students or the pupils are going to rearrange the sentences into correct subtopics. Okay? Into the opening, main section and closure. Okay. okay, the first one I've done for you. Okay, the first one is the day and date, right? 
So it's 21st May 2022, Saturday. Okay. So opening. Hi, my name is Emma. Welcome to my blog. Today is my 12th birthday. Okay, so first two have been done. Now, can we ask someone to start? Anyone want to volunteer? Okay, Hitesh. Yes, Hitesh. Which one would go for the opening? Which sentence? Mm. My teacher cannot see clearly, teacher. Cannot see clearly? Okay, let's get the camera to zoom in here. Yeah. Okay. Can you see Hitesh? This one? Mm, yes, teacher. Okay, good. My my dad wants to do something special for my birthday celebration. Yes, good. Okay, so that is the opening, right? My dad wants yes. to do something special. Okay. Okay, Chris. Yep. Okay, Chris is taking out the sentence strips. <laughs> All right, okay, meanwhile, Hitesh, you can okay. go through the other sentence because okay, you have okay. another two more, three more sentences, right? Yeah, at the side. At the side here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Hitesh? So this oh. is the opening. Yes. Right. Okay, how about the next sentence, Hitesh? Thus, my father decided to bring us to Palantian Island for snorkeling. Yes, followed by thus, my father decided to bring us to the Palantian Island. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Opening as well? Yes. We can put it here, over here. Here? Yeah, below. Right. Okay, another two more sentences. Hitesh, okay, for opening. Okay. Which one do you think is the opening? It, Palantian Island. Yes. Palantian Island. Yeah, it is about Palantian Island. It is... Uh, it, can you go up a little bit, teacher, to the first? This one, is it? Okay. Yes. Is the Pantian, first? Pantian Island is a marine protected... It's a protected marine park island. Yes, good. And one more? The last one? It's one of the most beautiful islands in the Malaysia. Yes, well done, Hitesh. Okay. So, you have got all the sentences for opening. Right? Okay, it's yes, the, the top one, Chris. It's all. Oh, yes, he got okay. the answer. Good job, Hitesh. All right. So these are the opening sentences. Yeah. All right. Bring this lower. Okay. Okay. So these are the opening sentences. Okay. For uh, for the first paragraph, right? Okay. Now let's go to the main section, the second paragraph. Who would like to try? Yes. Is it Joel? Any, any volunteers? Yes, Joel. Yeah, Joel. Yeah, Joel. Yes, Joel. So which will be the first one for the main section? It's about the about what we did. What we did in Perantian Island. Before we started snorkeling. Yes. We we learn about snorkeling technique with an instructor. Yes, good. Yeah, before starting snorkeling, you have to learn about snorkeling from instructor. Yes. And you can go to the second one. Okay. Yes. Okay, Joel, how about the second sentence? Then we sailed to the sea in a speedboat. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Then we sail to the sea in a speedboat. After you learn the techniques, then you go to the sea. Right. Okay.
Okay, how about the third sentence? We were swimming at tire turtles underneath the sea. We were swimming attire and use the snorkeling gear Sn and life jacket. Right? Okay, good. Okay. Joel, can you read the sentence again, Joel? Yeah, can, can you read, you read the, the sentence, sentence again, again, Joel? We were swimming attire and used the snorkeling gear yeah. and life jacket. Good. All right. Well done. Good job. Okay. So what's next? Okay, shall we like continue with uh, maybe Rafik? Okay. Rafik. How about Rafik? Can you continue? Yes. Okay, Rafik. I enjoy watching the giant turtles underneath the sea. Yes, I enjoyed watching the giant turtles underneath the sea. Yeah, this is also the activity that you do during snorkeling, right? Okay, and next? We observe the, spec the spectacular coral reef too. Yes, good. We observe the coral reefs. Okay. Okay, how about the last sentence for the main section? Finally, we went to the shark point and swam with the baby shark. Yes, well done Rafiq and well done Joel. Both of you have done very well. Okay. So, we have completed the opening and also the main section. Now, left only the closure. Okay, who wants to try closure? Okay, Angelina. Okay, which will be oh, the first indeed. sentence? Bunjang Island was a fun place with lots of activities to be done. Yes, good. Okay. Okay, first we talk about the Perantian Island. What are the things that you can do there? Okay, okay the next sentence, Angelina. The underwater snuggling was... Breathtaking. Yes. The underwater snorkeling was breathtaking. Okay, two more. Okay, two more. Which one? I, I am excited to try snorkeling again and it was the and it was the best experience ever. Yes, good. Okay, that is the last sentence. Okay. All right, this is the last sentence. So before that, there's another sentence, right? Yes, Jill? okay. I think we have missed one more sentence somewhere, right? One more sentence. Okay, anyone could give me a guess? Where can we put the sentence? My family and I love adventure. Okay, where do you think this sentence belongs to? Is it opening, the main section or the closure? Teacher. Yes, who's that? Hitesh. Yes, Hitesh? Opening, teacher. Yes, Hitesh. Good. Opening. Yes, it should be in the opening. Okay, my family and I love adventure. Okay. Right? Okay, now. So, what do you think, Pris? The I, students. I think everyone should give yourselves a round of applause yeah. for doing a great job. So, teacher, did they label the sentences correctly into opening, main section, and closure? Uh, okay, from what I can see here, yes. Yeah. All the sentences are correctly put it put put I mean put in okay. into the correct segments. Okay, and well done to you, pupils. Okay. Because I know it's not an easy task. It's not an easy task to arrange, rearrange the sentences since there are, there are more than like 13 sentences over there. Yeah. So it's not an easy task, but they have accomplished it like yeah. very well, right? So let's so, look at the final block. Yes, definitely. Okay.
Ah, so okay. this is what they all just did. Yeah. So just now we have rearranged the sentences. Now we have to put it in into a correct paragraphs, okay. right? To make it a proper block. Okay. Now let's look at this uh, block here. It's Emma's block. So here, uh, the day and date: twenty-first May, twenty twenty-two. Hi, my name is Emma. Welcome to my block. Today is my twelfth birthday. My dad wants to do something special for my birthday celebration. My family and I love adventure. Thus, my father decided to bring us to Perhentian Island for snorkeling. <coughs> Perhentian Island is a protected marine park island. It's one of the most beautiful island in Malaysia. So this is the the first paragraph, right? The opening, teacher. Yeah, the opening. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, would you want to read, Chris, for yeah, the second sure, paragraph? Before we started snorkeling, we learned about snorkeling techniques with an instructor. Then. We sailed to the sea in a speedboat. We wore our we wore swimming attire and used the snorkeling gear and life jacket. I enjoyed watching the giant turtles underneath the sea. We observed the spectacular coral reefs too. Finally, we went to the shark point and swam with the baby sharks. Okay, so that is the main section, the main idea. What we did in Perhentian Island. Mm. Okay, and the last one. Okay. The closing. Yeah, closing. Perhentian Island was a fun place with lots of activity to be done. The underwater snorkeling was breathtaking. I'm excited to try snorkeling again, and it was the best experience ever. Okay, so this is the whole block about Emma's snorkeling experience. Okay, so right? teacher, could you share with us what we just learned in this segment, teacher? Okay, so we have learned how to write a block. Okay, so the student, the pupils have done uh, rearranging sentences mm. to. To to put it in into a block correctly, right? So there are three parts of the block. Yeah, picture. there are three parts. Where where uh, the first one is opening, the second one is main section, and the third one is the closure. Closure. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, teacher, for teaching us how to write a block. Yes, definitely. We're going to take a short break, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on Tahap Dua with Teacher Tulasi for Bahasa Inggris. Let's create a block. Did you know, blogging can improve pupils' involvement in writing and boost creativity with exciting content. Dede TV KPM. Hello friends, welcome back to Tahap Dua for Bahasa Inggris and today we are learning about Let's create a blog with my friends on Google Meets as well as watching at home Give me a wave my friends on Google Meets, hi! Ha, who do we have today? We have Joel, we have Rafiq, we have Angelina and Hitesh And also not to forget, we are together with Teacher Tulasi Well teacher, in this yes, segment, Chris. what will we be learning? Okay, this is the conclusion. So that means I'll do some uh, some summing up of the lesson of today. Okay, but before we go to that, I would like to ask our pupils in Google Meet some questions. Okay, now, so this is Q and A time, yeah? Question okay. and answer. Okay, would you like to go on adventures, pupils? Do you like adventures? Yes. Yes, yes. right? Yes. Okay, I think yes. most of us like adventures, right? Okay, now, what type of adventure would you like to try? Okay, who should go first? Who wants, yeah. wants to share first? Anyone? Okay. Yes. Hitesh? Oh. Hitesh? Yes, Hitesh. Hitesh. I would like to try hiking. Hiking. Okay. Why, why do you like hiking? Because it's really challenging and also kind of exciting. Exciting. Okay, good. Yes, it is challenging, right? You have to hike up the mountain and you have to bring all you know, the, the, the things that you need. And also the pathway will be like maybe slippery and then you have to wear a proper shoes, yeah. right? Hitesh, can I ask you something? Which, where would you like to go hiking? Do you have a place in mind? Yeah, I was like thinking this for a whole time. Mm. I think I want to go to like... Uh, 
Kota Kinabalu. Oh, yes. wow. That means Gunung Kinabalu. Gunung Kinabalu. Yes, wow. Gunung Kinabalu. Okay. Okay, we, maybe we can go together one day. Because I haven't tried it as well. I would love to try the adventure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next, maybe Rafiq. Okay. Uh, earlier Rafiq. Yeah, Rafiq. Raise his hand as well. Yeah. Go ahead, Rafiq. Camping. Oh, camping. Have you been to camping before this? No. Oh, no. Okay. So where where do you think you want to go for camping? Any places that any specific place that you want to try camping? No specific place. No specific place. As long as it's outside. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's outside we are camping. Yes, already. okay. In the, in the woods. Oh, in the woods. In the woods. Okay. Okay. Very brief. Rafi so we have a lot brief. of places for camping in Malaysia, right? Yeah. Please. Okay. I think everyone should try camping. Okay. It's very fun and also adventurous, right? Okay. Now, I think uh, we have come to the end of the lesson today. So today, the students, the pupils have learned about um, using or making a mind map for writing. Okay. Then they have used the mind map. To write a block, a personal block. Okay, okay. Now the learning objective, the first one, that means using the mind map to plan, is already been achieved, and also rearranging sentence also been achieved today. So I would like to give something to the pupils. Yeah, but, okay, but before that, I, I also want to ask you, teacher. Yes. Like, how did our friends watching at home, as well as those on Google Meet, do uh -huh. today for today's lesson? Yes. Okay, they have done very well. Excellent. Today's lesson was excellent. But uh, just for those who are at home, if you want more enrichment activities, you can go to Sumbaku okay. Okay, to do your activities there. So you'll have more uh, worksheets for you to do about blog, personal blog writing. Okay. So but before that, I also like to ask my friends watching at home, um, how, did you enjoy today's lesson about writing, creating your own mind map, creating a blog? If you did, give me a double thumbs up. Where's the double thumbs up? Are you Angelina, no double thumbs up. <laughs> okay, yeah, everyone give me a double thumbs up. And with that, I want to say thank you so much, Teacher Tulasi, for today's lesson. It's very engaging, very fun. And also thank you to Teacher Azliana for being our sign language interpreter for today. And with that, I want to say thank you everyone watching. Thanks for joining us here at Tahab Duo for Basa Inggris. Let's create a blog. And I think, teacher, it's time. It's time to go snorkeling. Yes. Is that correct? Come, All let's right. go everyone, snorkeling. Alright, everyone, let's go. Okay, I'm going to grab the goggles. Okay, sure. Oh, I'll grab this. Alright, okay. Teacher, one for you. One goggles yeah. for you, one for me. Do you all have your goggles? Yeah? Alright, let's go for holiday! I'm going to the beach for a holiday To enjoy the waves and sand play I pack my toys and sunscreen too Swimwear and travel are a must too Making sand castles will be so much fun Collecting shells once you are done Watching crab trails in the sand Will bring us all a golden tan I am going to the beach for a holiday To enjoy the waves and sand play I'm going to the beach for a holiday to enjoy the beach and sand Didi TV KPM